Okay, uh, we are live now. So hello everybody. Uh, my name is Blake Cabot. I am the owner of uh, facepaint.com. And in these troubled times, what better thing to do than go uh, watch uh, a great face painter? Went wide, sharpen the skills, so to speak. And so today we have Simona Rad. And it might have been a little, uh, a little confusing in the discussion because, um, Hey, Ivona, um, is, uh, this isn't going to be eye designs. This is going to be how to draw eyes. So there's just different ways of doing this. And so, um, you know, a lot of people struggle with kind of what kind of eyes to put on their different characters. And so what Simona is going to show you today is that and we had her, uh, come the other day and she said, I, you know, somebody said, well, we really like to see her eye design. So I thought this is a great opportunity to do that. And uh, with that, uh, Simona is, there's two fun facts about this. She started off the last session in, in UK a couple weeks ago, but she has been, uh, because of this whole virus thing, so she has relocated back to Romania, Transylvania, no less. And, uh, and second fun fact is that um, she's doing this uh, with her sister sleeping in the same room. So uh, if you guys can keep it down, no noise, okay? Stop it. <laughs> Don't make any noise. Um, okay. Uh, with that, I will leave it to Simone. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for those from Romania and UK for staying up late and watching me, especially Ivona if she's online. Um, and yeah, today I'm going to show you how to paint eyes, different types of. I'm going to show you first... Um, the shapes that you can use and then how to add um, color and um, outline it and line work and everything. And then um, I'm going to show you how to actually apply it on some unicorns, heads and um, dinosaur. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw some cute cow or pig or something. Um, in the meantime, if you have something like a character that is usually requested and you would like to see how I used to paint eyes on that particular thing. Um, I'm going to share that as well, just post in the comments. And if we have time, I'm going to do it. Um, and also I'm going to cover um, the LOL dolls because they're a bit tricky, but it's actually quite easy to, to do them. So, um, yeah, Maria says I'll she has problems by... uh, with uh, she has problems with pa pa painting eyes. So I think this is a universal thing. Although Avona made the Dracula comment, so it wasn't. Yeah, I didn't say it. <laughs> I thought it. I didn't say it. You're lucky someone else said it for you. Exactly what I'm thinking right now. Okay, so. Um. I've loaded my brush with white, but I'm actually going to show you um, first thing how um, how I started to do the eye, like the um, fastest way of doing it. So let me show you how what I'm actually doing here as well. Um, and today I'm mostly going to use uh black from diamond effects because it's the only one that i have and because now i have this new super nice cool vibe there we go yes i'm so happy with it i just received it and it's it's like really really good so i'm gonna use it today Thank for you. all the eyes okay so um i'm gonna um, do the eyes way much bigger than um, we usually do them on a face or so on because this way you can you can see them. Um, if, so the first one, the the most basic one is you do a line like that, and then you can do a sweep in the end, and then you just come like I think it's a third from the distance and do like a um, fat coma and then just a line here okay and you can make it a bit bigger and you don't have to add color you don't have to add anything if your character is white then um 
this will do this would be like perfect and it's quick and you don't have to struggle about it so all you have to do is do one two here then you come down in a thicker line and then another one here is cute and simple and yeah then if you have some oh, more time I'm Linda Zuri. um you can always load one brush with a color let's just say blue and you can add it here for an extra interest. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the basic, the most simple one. I'm not. Uh, Maria asked for someone. Chinese eyes. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but. Chinese um, eyes. Um, I'm going to try to. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, I'm never using them. What What is she using them for? Uh, what are you using them for, Maria? I'll take a minute because this is always a, there's a delay from what you and I are saying and what they're hearing. So it'll we'll take a second. Okay, so let's see about um, the shapes. As you know, you can um, you can show facial expressions only by using lines or dots. So, for example, if I'm having here, let's just call it the face, okay? And this one, another one, and this one, another one, mm -hmm. and this one, another one. Um, and I'm just using two dots here, and then maybe I want to put the mouth here and the nose here. I'm using just two dots for the eyes. And I can do the same thing, but then I'm using two lines for the eyes. Mm -hmm. Or same thing, but I'm using these eyes. It's like I'm still using two lines, but I'm just changing the position of it, and you suddenly change the whole facial expression for, for it. Mm -hmm. But um, today I'm going to show you more of them. Um, so I'm going to use white now for the base, and then I'm going to add um, color and the black part. So you can have this kind of um, rounded, but not perfectly spheric shapes. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually have perfectly made spheres. You can have elongated ones. Mm -hmm. mm, you can have starting like this, but instead of ending, ending this shape, um, Roundly, you just cut it like that. Uh, I think what Maria was talking about was um, anime eyes kind of thing. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We'll try to cover that as well. Great. What else? Um, More like that for someone that is really smiling. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just double them all so I can show you different ways of adding the color bit. Also, um, these ones, for example, are used, wait, maybe not exactly the same, but 
with this with the bottom a bit um, cut from it. These are the um, Mickey Mouse eyes. And for example, a version uh, between this one and this one is um, Olaf eyes. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, this one, for example, is more like Elsa and Anna is I, I don't even know how to call it. <laughs> it's not square and it's not rounded and it is a bit pointed in, in the inner corner. And then here is flat in the bottom and the top. And then in the other side is a bit rounded. Okay. Okay, now that it's starting to dry, I can add the color. Also, let me do um, some um, that I'm using for the unicorns. These are more like an almond shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let me do a bigger one as well. Almond shape, Tasha said. Yep, everybody says almond shape. Okay. That's my dog. I'm gonna use, what should I use so you can see it properly? Blue or? Uh, something dark, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so I'm using um, Snow Patrol from Superstar. Is the shimmery one. And let's see. What I'm doing is, first I need to decide if I want um, the color bit to, so if I want my character to look down, I'm gonna draw them here. If I want my character to look up, then maybe I can even um, draw, for example, not the full circle mm -hmm. here on the top. Hi, Natalia. Like that? Yeah. Um, if I want my character to have like really cute eyes, then I'm trying to make it as big as possible. Um, for example, during the Halloween, um, when you want to make like a sca like scared character, um, you have to to make this part of the eye really small. So let's do let's do it here like that. And you can do this thing with black. And this is like um a really scared um let me show you. I have a drawing with the unicorn here. So this one. As you see is like scared eyes because they are right, um, big wide yeah right. yeah exactly they are wider okay um what i'm trying to do if i want oh, to add more uh, she wanted that, to uh, uh maria says she'd like to zoom in a little bit more on the image yes yeah, sure i think we got this this time there we go that's good better. much better <laughs> Okay, so what you can do when you paint um, on a face, because you have the base already white, you can just insist on um, working this area a bit more, and then you have a lighter color coming off. I don't know if it's visible, but if you can't, then just add a bit more white. Or if you're already using a dark color, you can take um, a darker blue, in my case, 
and try to outline it a bit. And um, it's always better, for example, if you have um, green eyes and you're using this type of green mm -hmm. for the colored part, then just use a darker green for this outlining. But it's not really outlined because I'm not um, drawing a complete line around it. It's just some areas and it doesn't matter what area you choose to, to do this thing on and then I can take even a lighter blue but that's probably not something that you do on the job and draw like that mm -hmm. and then if you take some black and you just draw on top of it. And always consider the fact that, um, can I draw it here? So this is my eye. And in this case, the actual pupil is here, but we are only able to see this. Right. So when I'm, when I'm doing the black bit, I'm not doing a, a perfectly rounded um, black dot here. Instead, I'm cutting it a bit because you can't see it all. Mm -hmm. And the same here. And also, as I explained um, in the last uh, webinar, when I'm outlining it, I'm not out outlining um everywhere because we don't have to we, we don't want to have it really really bold mm -hmm. and then let's see it's a girl and i can draw some um, eyelashes like that and this one is probably should be a bit bigger. Um, yep. And that's in this one. On top of the blue, which is coming with the black. And also with the eyelashes, there are so many types of eyelashes that you can do. But the most important thing is, um, is never outline the whole um, eye because it, it would look, wait, let me just show you how to do and how not to do because I think it's easier to understand. Uh, where can I? Can you see guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I zoomed in. Thanks, Kathy. It was just so, I'm always feeling so alone here. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching you. Okay, so in this, in this one, I'm gonna show you how not to do with the outlining. But until then, um, let's see on this one. So the top of it, just a line. And then here again, one line. And I'm just going to draw three of these on each side. Like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to wait for this one to to be a bit drier so I can add the black. But in the meantime, I can show you another eye. 
um, yeah, you don't need necessarily to have um, the color big. You can always just use, for example, um, because I said these ones are the Mickey Mouse ones. Mickey is having something like that. And then here is the nose. And the, um, the initial shape for his eyes was something well, let me show you here bigger so you can see. So it was like a pizza thing. And it was it was empty there. Um like that. Mm -hmm. So here if I'm doing the same thing, just smaller. It's just a V. It's like you would have a pizza and you take one slice from it. Mm -hmm. Like that. And also, um, Mickey Mouse, for example, is having that um, skin tone color, um, but the eyes are outlined with just a bit darker uh, skin tone. It's never black. So if you if you do something that's um, like um, Elsa or Anna or yeah Mickey Mouse, you you better choose a, a brown to do the outline instead of black. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm taking some white. What I like to do is always um, draw a line that uh, goes <laughs> from the black through the color and then into the white again, like that. Mm -hmm. And then add one or two dots of white into the black part. And is suddenly um, full of life. Yeah. Makes sense. Like... <laughs> yeah, kind of a good cartoon eye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and now I can show you how not to do the outline. Also, always try to um, to wait in between, to wait a bit for the white to get dry and then for the color one, because otherwise you would end up in something muddy. And because um, on an actual face, these things would be so much smaller, um, it, it can get messy really, really easy. Mm -hmm. So try not to do... Maria this. loves it. We don't want this. Um, can you see? Is it... Okay. Yeah. And... Do not do this. And then this. <laughs> this is so ugly. <laughs> Never okay, <say> so <laughs> as you can see, if you outline everything and if you're not careful with it, it will just be like some really tired eyes or too much makeup on. Good. Um, is it blocking there over there as well? Because on my laptop, I'm seeing the image always. Yeah, actually, it is stuck. It is stuck. 
Um, uh, is it all the time? No, no, no. Actually, it's fine. No, I see your hand. Okay, okay. Um, let me do some of the unicorn eyes now. I'm gonna change the blue color and I'm gonna do some green eyes. I always like to do green eyes for the unicorns, mostly if um, I'm using pink for the main um, of the unicorn. It looks really, really cute. Um, what I'm using now is light green from Tag, but the same hmm, similar color um, is the light green from Fusion. For what? From which which brand? Uh, Fusion and Tag. Okay. Both of them are quite similar. Okay, so can you see if I'm doing it here? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, let me show you first something else. If I'm having, I'm going to show you with black so you can all see. Let me show you here. So this is my album shape. I'm going to do loads of this so I can show you. Okay, I can choose to do the color bit here, like that. Mm -hmm. And then the, the whole eye is going to be around this area. Um, I'm going to change the color because it's not really visible. Okay. So here, or I can do it smaller and fit the whole um iris in it or i can do it in this corner or you can do it on the top like this or you can do it on the bottom so these are all choices that you have when you do eyes for the unicorns um, and probably there are a lot other others um, and then you have here the black bit or here uh, or here or here this is muddy but you get the idea I'm going to show you here the proper stuff but I wanted you to, to see all the different options that you have So let me load my brush again with light green. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick, let's say this one from here for this eye and I'm drawing it. I'm not gonna bother and draw in the corner as well, because I'm gonna add the black there, so it's not necessarily. And now that I have my um, oh, uh, my light yeah. green. There's a request for some unicorn eyes from I think Beth, because you're logged in as me. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one is a unicorn eye. Mm -hmm. And then with, um, so I'm not washing my brush, I'm just adding on my tip, uh, on my brushes tip uh, some, dark green, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding some of it on the edges. Um, some in here. And try to go with like lines that goes towards this, um, this very end of the eye. Like that. And then let me see if I can black wait. Okay, so now No worries, Beth. Didn't bother me. Hmm. 
I'm starting from here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. And when I'm getting here, I'm trying to put a bit more pressure on it. And I will start to release the brush, like not to add so much pressure uh, when I'm about here. So I'm starting there, I'm coming, I'm adding some pressure and now I'm starting to release and come here again. And the bottom, I will always try to put um, as little pressure as possible. So I always want the bottom line to be uh, thinner than the top one. Mm -hmm. And these two lines, in mm -hmm. like the perfect case, they are not um, connecting, and they are not connecting here either. Interesting. And then you can add some eyelashes here, and you can add some eyelashes on the top as well. What you can do on the top is also drawing the actual um, lid, eyelid. You start from the corner, from this very same um, point, and then you just go over it. And also a trick um, to make eyelashes always look better is let me see where I can show you like a really big version of it. Let's say that this is the uh, the bottom um, line and then here I have some eyelashes, right? The trick is trying to do um, this point a bit um, thicker, mm -hmm. like a base, and then leave the... the the end of it really, really thin. It's going to look really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what question came, what brush is that? Um, this one is number three from the face painting shop. Or okay. um, an equivalent for it, it might be number two from Lo Cornell. I have number three from Lo Cornell, but I feel... Um, like it's not that pointy so a number two would probably be the same with the number three from the face painting shop um yeah but, looks like a three okay yeah i don't have i, I couldn't find a number two from over now they exist Okay, and now that I'm having these lines done, I can come here as my green is already dry and create the pupil. Oh, it's a round brush or a script liner? It's, it's, a, round. A, it's a round one. Yeah, I think it's a round one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will try to do a outline here. Good. And now I'm done with the black here. I just have to come with the white. Also, um, the bigger uh, the black bit, the pupil is, the cuter the eye, if it makes sense. Um, you will see in the LOL uh, doll eyes, it's like the, the biggest part is black. And those are, eyes are really, really like exaggeratedly cute. So if you make this one bigger, then you'll probably have a, I don't know, more cartoonish, cute unicorn. 
Okay, I'm taking white. And I'm doing that line first, and then mm. one, two, three dots. And this can be a unicorn eye. Mm -hmm. Yep. I see that. Also, hey, Patty. What you can do, for example, instead of doing the eyelashes like that, you can choose to do just one. So you start from here and then you make the base really thick. And then you come down like that mm -hmm. and then come a bit around here it's more like a cat cat eye but you can do that on unicorn is it's still gonna work and then um let's let's do it here Like that. Well, I don't have the color bait in there, but um, like that. I'll add white once it's dry. Um, what else? Oh yeah, let me show you something interesting. If you have um, this shape, can you see it? Mm -hmm. This one here. Right. Okay, like that. Uh, and I'm going to do ones. Wait. Oops. The same thing here. And then if I'm doing some eyelashes in here um, and then some, yeah a couple a couple of updates um, one uh, through this crisis and virus we've done free shipping on all orders over 20 bucks um, for a while this is all going on uh, we wish we did we launched that last uh, I guess last weekend and, and we've been running it since then so if you guys need any face paint um, to get free shipping and then um, another thing is uh, we've got a couple webinars coming up um, and the list is um, we have I thought it's going to be a little faster than that. There we are. Okay, so we have um, uh, on Monday uh, we have Pam Kinneberg and Easter Designs, which, you know, Back in the day, we thought we'd do Easter parties. And um, then uh, on April 7th, we have uh, Jacqueline uh, Howe. How? Yeah, I think Howe. And, um, and she's going to be showing us um, uh, on the job glitter. So we got a couple of uh, great webinars coming up, and you can keep uh, track on our Facebook page on facepaint.com. Um, so, um, how's everybody doing? I mean, I haven't heard a lot of comments about this horror. Oh, the code. Everybody wants to code. I gotta go create a code. Thanks, thanks, Christine. I'll go create a code. Uh, what, what, what kind of code are we looking for? Christine, I'll let you answer that question. Oh, please go ahead. Okay, so I'm having here the same um, shape, but instead of doing the eyelashes on top, if I'm doing them here on the bottom, it would actually look like um, these are some closed eyes. And what you can do is adding um, a bit of 
pink or I don't know anything to it and it will look like some eyeshadow in here and in here and then you blend it into the color you can if you use just one of these you can use it on unicorns as well like that Thanks, Patty. appreciate that she likes the crazy one strokes yeah, that's pretty. That's a very pretty design. I mean, so I like the way you took the uh, the eyelashes off that. It kind of, yeah, that's that's, a, that's very good. Yes, you just move them on the on the bottom. Um, okay, so let me. I want to see. Let me show you just one more eye in here, and then, or actually, no. I'll do something else. So here I I made some um, unicorns, um, a dinosaur, and then I'm just gonna add um, the eyes on it and a snake. This one is the first time I did this one, so um, let's hope it's gonna work well. Good. I'm just going to correct this one here a bit. Good. So, I'm going to do, I'll do this one a boy. And I'm gonna make him angry. I'm doing the same almond shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Rhonda wants a dolphin eye. Dolphin eye. Um, let me think. Oh yeah, for the dolphins, I'll, I'm gonna be honest. I'm always doing this. That's my eye. <laughs> yeah, that's it for dolphins. Yes. Um. Because I feel like I'm ruining everything if I'm doing the actual eye with the color and everything. So I prefer not to, to do it. Um, I'm going to do for this one the cut top bottom. Um, and then Let's see. Can you see? No, you can't. Well, I don't, I don't know what you're pointing at. Yeah, I see a bunch of uh, unicorns working on it, Christine. I'll put it in the Facebook uh, group uh, post if you, if you don't, if you're not, you can't stick around. No. I'm just trying to log in. And then album tape again. Okay, and let's add some color. On this one, I'll do it round. Darker blue. For the edges here. And then I'm going to leave it to dry. Um, this one here. Like that. And... I'm going to make. So the uh, coupon code is eyes20. And this is just for craze. And here we go. Oh. 
Okay. And um, while I'm going to wait for this um, eyes to get dry, I'm going to show you how I'm doing um, the eye for the um, dinosaur. Mm -hmm. I'll pick a darker green. Do you think I, sh I should zoom more on the um, dinosaur or is it okay? No, I think it's pretty zoomed. It's okay. a little blurry, but that may be going away. I don't know. It, it, I think it looks, it may just be the, the color. Is it good now? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so here is the area where my eye is supposed to be. Um, I'm using dark green to outline it a bit like that and then the actual eye is just gonna be a small dot and then what's really important is creating um i don't know how you call them is it uh, black black eye <clears throat> those those things that look like your eyes are tired. Yeah. Okay, and here is the other eye. And I'll take the <clears throat> Usually oh, a black yeah. circle, Ivana says? Yeah, black circle. That's it. Thank you. Um, someone is asking for, I don't know, showing the other sheet or something with mm -hmm. the eyes. Yeah, yellow makes it look creepier. Yeah, yellow and then... <clears throat> when I take the black, um, like that. and I'm trying to make it more even more darker. And when the yellow is dry, I should make a dot in it. I don't want to destroy it, but this is... Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. That looks good. It's a good scary uh, eye. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, of course, um, I don't have the outline here, but it's more like the, the um, yeah, that's it. And then let's try to see if I I'm going to try to do a snake eye. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to use yellow, but I'm going to mix um, some white into this yellow. That's not really bright. OK, what I'm going to try here is making it round. That. And here again. So this, these two are basically the eyebrows in a way, like that. This one comes here, this one here. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out this thing. And this is the nose. And then And now for the, um, the pupil is elongated like that. Mm -hmm. I'll try to outline it, but not too much um, here. And now I'm going to load uh, my brush with white. And I'm just going to add. Let me. Um, it's not yet dried, so I'm going to add white first in here. One dot. Let me stop in here. And then. One dot here, and because this um, yellow bit is like really, um, I don't know how to call it. Like, if you want it to be more three D, then add some light in this, in this side, as well, so it comes more towards the viewer. Good, and. Um, do I have seven minutes left? You have seven minutes left. We have to get the unicorns. Uh, yeah, let me just click the unicorns and then um, finish with the LOL doll. Okay. Okay. For the angry um, unicorn that's in here, um, I'll do the top bit. And I'm not gonna go fancy with the um, with the eyelashes because it's a boy and we want it angry. Then the bottom one, but just a bit, and I'm not connecting those two. Mm -hmm. I'll make the pupil. That is true, Patty. So yes, you study art, and therefore you're an amazing illustrator. So this is where this all comes from. And then. All I'm doing is draw um, an eyebrow, and that eyebrow is going to make the whole eye, the whole unicorn to be angry. An angry unicorn? Yeah. Like that. Or maybe evil. <laughs> No, no, sweetie. Okay, now the other one really quick. Just black and then the bottom of it. No. <laughs> My kid's making funny noises at me. He is. He is. And then... Can you see this unicorn in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The which one? The brown one. If oh, you move it a one. little bit, that you move it a little bit over. Wait a sec. There you go. Now I can. Good. Um, and let's do this one as I did um, the very first ones on the yellow paper. And this one is looking there. I mentioned. Like that. I'm adding white in here. White in here. And here as well, the line and the two dots or three or 
one. Uh -huh. Okay, good. And now that we have this sorted, um, I'll change. And I'm gonna do the LOL doll here. Usually when I'm um, painting LOL dolls, um, I'm trying not to not to paint a base for it, as I'm just gonna use the um, the, the actual skin as uh, the doll's skin as well. Because mm -hmm. I'm saving time this way, and um, it's still working, and then I don't have to have four layers of paint around the eyes. Okay, so let me do the face shape first. Or is it big enough? Yeah, I think so. Like, see what you're doing. Okay, this is the face, and then I'm just doing two big balls here with black. Another one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to take a color. Mm, not sure what to use on this yellow. I'll, I'll try with the blue. Um, and I'm going to draw a line, but I'm not going to do it on the top at all. So just mm -hmm. on the bottom of it, of the black thick ball. Okay. And then I'm going to load it with white. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same on the bottom of it. a lot of depth okay and now that i have um the white i'm gonna do the um, the highlights as well so lol um have like loads of small tiny white bits here on the black and then i'm taking the black one again and i'll do the eyelashes and these are just let's do two mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and then here's the nose and the mouth of it. Ah. Um, you can do the eyebrows and we we'll do some quick hair as well. Um, yellow, some brown and black. Um, I don't know, just some cool hair. Like that. Ah. So you have an animal. Fantastic. Well, that's great. Yes. So, 
Well, thank you very much, uh, Simona. Thank you. And thank uh, you for having me. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, this is great. And uh, everybody take care, stay safe in this all too crazy world. Um, and uh, we're going to be back on Monday with um, Pam Kinnebert doing Easter Designs. And, and I look forward to seeing you guys then. And again, stay safe. This is just crazy, man. We'll, we'll all get through it, but it's going to be a while. Okay. And let your sister sleep now. Okay, she's already, already sleeping. Good for her. I don't know. I've never seen somebody sleep for an entire session. <laughs> uh, thank you much, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.